Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to create and add a Facebook Pixel to your Teespring store. Adding a Facebook Pixel will allow you to measure and track the actions that shoppers take in your store. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I release a new tutorial. The Facebook Pixel is an analytics tracking code that can be created in the Facebook Business Manager. Installing the Facebook Pixel on Teespring will help you better understand how your customers are interacting with your store. So first, let's discuss some of the benefits of connecting the Facebook Pixel with your Teespring store. With the Facebook Pixel, you can better measure your store's performance by tracking the actions that people take. Examples of the actions people may take while visiting your store is to view a product, add an item to their shopping cart, or make a purchase. Understanding the actions that people take can help you better optimize your store and improve the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns. The Facebook Pixel will also allow you to expand your audience with custom and look-alike audiences created using your Pixel data. As the Pixel gathers information about the people that visit your store, you can use this data to create a custom audience or a look-alike audience, which is an audience that is similar to your store visitors. If you currently have a small audience, a look-alike audience can allow you to reach more people with the same traits and characteristics as the people that showed interest in your products. Installing the Pixel will also allow you to run highly targeted Facebook ad campaigns to your audience. For example, you can create a targeted ad for customers that viewed a particular product in your store or reach a new audience by running an ad campaign to a newly created look-alike audience. Connecting the Facebook Pixel to your Teespring store provides many advantages when it comes to analytics and marketing. So let's go through the entire process to create and add the Facebook Pixel to your Teespring store. To connect the Facebook Pixel, let's start by going up to your account drop-down menu up top, then click on Dashboard. From here, let's look at the menu on the left-hand side and click on the tab that says Tools and Services. This should open up a drop-down menu that has a few different options. We're going to go down to the option at the bottom that says Tracking Pixels. This should take you to the page where you can connect tracking pixels to your Teespring store. From the menu up top, make sure you have the Facebook tab selected. Here's where you can enter your Facebook Pixel tracking code. But before we can enter our Facebook Pixel tracking code, we first have to create one. In order to create a Facebook Pixel, Make sure you have a Facebook account and a brand page for your business. You want to have a Facebook business page to build an audience that you can cultivate and offer your products to. You can create a Facebook business page focused around your brand's niche, like my martial art lifestyle page here, or simply create a page based around your print-on-demand business like my quantum designs page. So once you have a Facebook account and have created your Facebook brand page, you can then head over to business.facebook.com to create your Facebook Pixel. This should take you to your Facebook Business Manager where you can manage your Facebook business accounts. Once you're in your Facebook Business Manager, look at the menu on the left hand side and go down to the More Tools tab. From the More Tools menu, you want to look for a tab called Events Manager. Let's click that now. This will take you to the data sources page where you can view all the information for the pixels that you've already created. Once your pixel starts gathering data, you'll be able to track all sorts of events that occur in your Teespring store. You can track events like your page views, how many people viewed your content, the number of people that added a product to their shopping cart or made a purchase, and many other events. So let's create a new pixel to add to our Teespring store. To create a new Facebook pixel, Let's go to the menu on the left hand side here and click the connect data sources tab. Here's where we can connect a new data source. Since we're creating a Facebook pixel for our Teespring store, let's select web. Go ahead and click get started. Now we can select our connection method. Of course, we're going to select the Facebook pixel. Go ahead and click connect. Under add details, go ahead and type in a name for your pixel. Make sure it's something unique because you might end up with a lot of pixels one day. Once you're finished, go ahead and click continue. And voila, we've just created a new Facebook pixel. Now that we have our pixel, we can add it to our Teespring store and start gathering data. From the pixel menu here, let's go up to the settings tab. Here's where you can find your pixel ID, 
which is the tracking code you need to add to your Teespring store. Go ahead and copy it to your clipboard now. Once you've copied your pixel ID, you can then head back over to the tracking pixels page in Teespring and paste it into the Facebook pixel text field. Once you've entered your pixel ID, make sure you click on update. And there we have it. You've just connected your Facebook pixel with your Teespring store. When shoppers visit your store, the actions that they take will now be recorded by your Facebook pixel. Now that we've connected our Teespring store with the Facebook pixel, let's go over an example of how to use the Facebook pixel. In order to use your pixel data to create a new audience or run a targeted ad campaign, you'll first need to head back over to your Facebook business manager. You can get there by going to business.facebook.com. Once you're in your Facebook business manager, let's head back over to our data sources page in order to view our pixels. To get to the data sources page, let's look at the menu on the left hand side, click on more tools, then go to events manager. You should now be on the data sources page where you can view your pixels. Since I just added the pixel to my Teespring store, we haven't gathered any data to use yet. So for this example, I'll be using my Thinkific pixel. So let's go over how you can use your Facebook pixel. Once you select the pixel you want to manage, look up at the top right and click on the create button. This will open up a drop down menu that will show you various ways that you can use the data collected by your pixel. You can use your pixel data to create an ad, where you create conversion campaigns that use your pixel information to drive more customers actions. You can create a custom audience where you reach people who have already engaged with your brand or find new people that are likely your best customers using your pixel information. One of my favorite things to use the pixel data for is to create lookalike audiences. This is where you can reach new people who are likely to be interested in your business because they're similar to your best existing customers. And finally, you can create a custom conversion where you measure more specific customer actions and run ads optimizing your delivery and reach for them. Once you select an audience, you'll be able to create a highly targeted ad campaign targeting those specific people. So let's take a quick look at how to create an ad using our pixel data. Before you start creating your ad, you'll first need something to promote. For this example, I'll be using one of my martial arts designs that I made using the Placeit T-Shirt Design Maker. Once I created my design, I then added it to my Teespring products. But in order to run a successful ad campaign, you're gonna need more than just a good design. You want your ad to be eye-catching and attention-grabbing so shoppers actually click your ad to go to your Teespring store. That's why I also created several image mockups using the Placeit Mockups Generator and used my image mockups to create a promotional video in the Placeit Video Creator to use for my ad. To create marketing videos to promote your products like the one you see here, click the link in the video description to access the T-Shirt Design Maker, the Placeit Mockups Generator, and the Video Creator. Anyone can use these tools to create amazing content to post to your followers on social media or create paid ad campaigns that actually convert. So now that we have some good eye-catching content, let's head back over to our Facebook Business Manager and create our ad. For our marketing objectives, let's go over to the Conversions column and select the Conversions option. With the Conversions ad, you can get people to take action on your website, such as making a purchase. So let's name our campaign and click Continue. Here's where you can create your ad set. In the Conversions section, you want to have websites set as your destination and your ad delivery optimized for conversions. You should also see the pixel that you selected to use to create your ad. I currently have my pixel event set for view content. You can then continue filling out the rest of your ad set information such as your audience and your budget and schedule. Once you finish filling in your ad set information, you can then start creating your actual ad. Under identity, you want to select the Facebook brand page that you plan to market your ad to. Under Format, you can select how you want your ad to appear. Since I'm using the promotional video I created for my t-shirt design, I'm going to select the single image or video format. In the Media section, let's click on the Add Media button to upload my marketing video. Once you've uploaded your marketing video, you can then go down to the Text and Links section and fill in the information for your ad. For your website URL, 
make sure you put in the link to the website or the product you want customers to go to when they click your ad. Once you finish creating your ad, you can then submit it for review. And once it's approved, your ad will begin showing to your target audience on Facebook, Instagram, and other places online through the audience network. So that's a brief overview of how to create a Facebook pixel, add it to your Teespring store, and use the customer data that the pixel collects to create targeted ad campaigns in your Facebook business manager. Make sure you drop a like on the video, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.